imagine 20 centuries of time in a single glance, feeling the surge of an ageless civilization merging with our changing world. That is the Song of Siam, song of a thousand legends of which the demon god is one. Today, worn by the winds and rains of centuries, he watches men reenact the legend of his battle with the monkey god. He came to rescue his master, the great god Rama, whom the wicked demon had kidnapped and imprisoned in a cave. The monkey god mocked him. The demon had great strength. His Siamese name, Tassagarana, means the strength of ten. from his evil ways, he stands as an eternal symbol of strength, guarding the sacred spirit of Gautama Buddha, whose astonishing tolerance allows his followers to keep their old beliefs, legends, gods. Today, the priests of Buddha, 140,000 in number, in their lemon yellow robes, are a familiar sight throughout the land. There were more than 18,000 of these Buddhist temples, or wats as they are called. And during service, the air is filled with the solemn chanting of the priests. Here, a solid gold spire enhances the beauty of one of the many fabulous places of reverence. Siam was conceived in these palace grounds, for it was here that the English school teacher Anna Leon Owens was retained by the wise King Mankut. Yes, here the title role of Anna and the King of Siam was enacted in true life. Anna's influence, which began in this house, introduced the Western culture which is embraced today. Witness these teenagers, why they could be coming home from any Main Street high school. They all speak English, and their favorite dance music is American Swing. But when it's time for worship, modern materialism is forgotten. As one and all, soldiers and civilians repair to the public watts for prayer and meditation. Even busy officials like this prime minister, Siam, most modern state of Southeast Asia, still worships with medieval fervor. Finding it not at all paradoxical that street signs like this call to people of Bangkok to attend classes in adult education. Or that outside these modern buildings, worthy of any Western metropolis, women prefer to tote their bundles after the manner of their ancestors. Bangkok's main boulevard, halfway between the royal palace and the people's parliament, is Siam's proudest monument, the spirit of democracy. Oriental tricycles and western motorcycle, a natural blending of east and west, and modern automobiles and trolley cars. It's Sunday, the streets are quiet. But these sports-loving people crowd a nearby stadium in numbers that would gladden the heart of any fight promoter. They've come to enjoy the sport of their kings, Siamese boxing. The exhibition begins with what appears to be a limbering up exercise. But it's more than that. It's an ancient ritual that has come down through the ages, a prayer to their gods of battle. is expectant. The air is tense. The judges are ready. Remember, boys, a good clean fight. Is he kidding? Anything goes in Siamese boxing.
No holes aboard. It's a rough and tumble He-Man sport. Here is a unique slow motion study, revealing graceful footwork and split second timing. It takes years to develop this poise, this sense of perfect balance. And now watch that knee to the jaw. Everything going at once, knees, feet, elbows, gloves. Now the tempo increases. The end of the bout is approaching with both lads giving their all in this slightly homicidal match. It's a draw, and he's disappointed. But the fans approve. How about a hot dog now? Or maybe a hamburger? But no, this is Siam. And it's Siamese rice cakes. She's one of Bangkok's most popular pastry makers. With sure hand, expert touch, and the lack of self-consciousness that becomes a true master, she prepares her delights for our inquisitive camera. In Siam, as elsewhere in the Orient, rice is the number one staple. Only six feet above sea level, Bangkok is crisscrossed by natural and artificial waterways, providing the city with great ayats of water crests, which this woman is picking with such preoccupied diligence. Known to the Siamese as Pag Bung, it's the spinach of the country and its second most important food. Sampans are used to ferry passengers and freight, playing the part gondolas do in Venice. A sampan ride along the tropical, luxuriant banks of these canals is especially romantic when a soft breeze wafts exotic oriental strains of a native band over the waters. ineffable charm of Bangkok's dancing girls. Their bodies are molded in gold-laden costumes. It takes hours to put them on. Their high tiaras are of gold set with precious stones. Once jealously guarded and virtual prisoners of the palace, today they enjoy full freedom as modern university students. And in the modern dance, something new has been added, as the dance ends with the hands symbolically representing the blending of East and West. This is the teacher of untold millions, part of your civilization in this changing world.